Welcome to Stories with Steph. This story is called Pippa. When Pippa was a little puppy, his mother used to say to him, Always obey your master. Always look both ways when you cross the road and always help anyone in danger. Once Pippa was old enough to leave home, Mr Jones, his new master, came to take him away. He was a strange, fierce-looking man and Pippa felt nervous. Don't worry, said Pippa's mother comfortingly. If you remember the three things I told you, you'll be a good dog and I shall always be proud of you. Mr Jones dragged Pippa up a hill to the lonely, crooked house where he lived. Tomorrow, I want you to take care of the rabbits in my vegetable garden. Teach them a lesson they won't forget, said Mr Jones grimly. I can't obey that demand easily, thought Pippa. He worked very hard. He took good care of the rabbits all day and by evening he had taught them to jump over him. They had a lovely time. But Mr Jones was furious. He came up behind Pippa and hit him with a big stick. You stupid disobedient dog, he snarled. You were meant to get rid of the rabbits. Stay in this hut until I decide what to do with you. He tied poor Pippa up without any food. But the rabbits didn't forget Pippa. They visited him every night and bought him their food. Pippa thought they were very kind, though he didn't enjoy eating lettuce. A week later, Mr Jones bought a new dog. It was a vicious creature with teeth like knives. Brutus will get rid of all of the rabbits, said Mr Jones, and then he will teach you how to be a real dog. Brutus growled at Pippa, and bared his sharp teeth. Pippa was terrified. That night, Pippa bit through the rope and escaped. He ran and ran through the dark woods. He ran up and down steep hills. And he plunged across a river. At last, he came to a great city. It was dark and noisy. The houses were like grey boxes. Everywhere, cars and trucks hurried by. Pippa looked both ways and tried to cross the road, but the traffic never stopped. He felt very small and very alone. Then, Pippa saw an old lady standing on the other side of the street. She called to him and gave him a friendly bark in return. Suddenly, she stepped out towards him into the road without looking. A car was about to run her over. Pippa darted in front of her and stopped the car. But the old lady was so startled she fell backwards into the pavement. She laid there without moving. Soon, a crowd gathered and an ambulance arrived. The ambulance men gently lifted the old lady onto a stretcher and took her away. Pippa was miserable. Nobody noticed him sitting there, so he crept away. Pippa had banged his leg on the car when he had saved the old lady. He limped sadly across along the road until he came to a park. It began to rain. His leg hurt very much, so he hid under a bush. As he drifted off to sleep, Pippa dimly heard a voice through the raindrops, drumming on the leaves. Suddenly, there was a loud shout nearby. I found him! Pippa felt himself being gently lifted up and wrapped in a warm blanket. Then he fell asleep. He did not understand that everyone had been looking for the brave dog who had saved the old lady's life. When he woke up, he was lying on a soft sofa with a bowl of delicious food in front of him. And there was an old lady smiling at him. You are a hero she said. I'd like you to live with me, said the old lady, but first I have to put up notices to say that I found you in case your owner wants you back. If no one claims you after a week, then you can stay. Pippa couldn't explain that he never wanted to see his cruel owner again. Every day he waited in case Mr Jones called. By the end of the week, he was so tired he fell asleep beside the telephone. 
the old lady lifted up the receiver of the telephone after it rang and Pippa heard Mr. Jones's grating voice. That black dog is mine, but you're welcome to him. He's such a coward he won't even chase a rabbit. <laughs> well, I should hope not, you horrible man, said the old lady in a shocked voice, and she put the receiver down with a bang. How lucky I am to have found you, she said. Now we can both look after each other.